Hi friends, my name is Kunj Kapadia and this is my second YouTube video. In this video, I'll describe Mycobacterium tuberculosis or M tuberculosis, the causative pathogen of tuberculosis. So, Mycobacterium tuberculosis was first discovered by Robert Koch in 1882, which brought him the Nobel Prize. They are slender, rod shaped organisms and are strict aerobes, means that they require high levels of oxygen to live, thus, primarily making them pathogens of the respiratory system. They don't produce spore for reproduction and divide every 15 to 20 hours. This is extremely slow compared to other bacteria which tend to have division time in minutes. They are non-motile and tend to live in colonies. Due to presence of fatty acids on their cell wall, they are seen as wrapped together which is known as coding like coding of threads to make a rope. They can survive in dry state for weeks and can resist weak disinfectants. Its cell wall is rich in lipids such as mycolic acid and is likely responsible for its resistance to desiccation and is a key virulence factor. M tuberculosis has a unique waxy coating on its cell surface of mycolic acid which is basically a lipid. This makes M tuberculosis impervious to gram stain that is the stain or short of dye discovered by scientist Gram which is used to see various bacteria under microscope. But yeah, they can be seen under acid fast stains such as Zeal Nielsen stain. Now. M tuberculosis is a part of complex that has at least 9 species like M boys, M africanum, M microti, etc. The most frequently used diagnostic method for tuberculosis are the tuberculin skin test or Mantoux test, acid fasting, culture and polymerized chain reaction. M tuberculosis is characterized in tissue by seziating granulomas. The genome of H37RV strain of M tuberculosis has size of 4 million base pairs with 3959 genes. 40% of these genes have their function characterized with possible function postulated for another 44%. The genome contains 250 genes involved in fatty acid metabolism, with 39 of these involved in the polycated metabolism, generating the waxy coat. Such large number of conserved genes show the evolutionary impact of waxy coat to pathogen survival. Antibiotic resistance in M tuberculosis typically occurs either due to accumulation of mutations in the genes targeted by the antibiotic or a change in titration of the drug. M tuberculosis is considered to be multi drug resistance. MDRTB if it has developed drug resistance to both ripampicin and isoniazid. Additionally, extremely drug resistive uh, tuberculosis XDRTB is characterized, is characterized by resistance to both isoniazid and ripampicin plus any fluoroquine loan and at least one of the three injectable second line drugs that is amikacin, canamycin or capriomycin. I'll cover more about tuberculosis in my next videos. Hope you like the video and if so, please press that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment if you like and share this to...